Hey guys, it's Edith here. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want that in the video for okay. you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Edith and I love showing you uh, my med school lifestyle journey. And today I'm here with a friend, a loved one, a dear one, a future colleague, Right. Her name is. Hey guys, my name is Sydney. Um, I'm an MD5 student here at St. James School of Medicine in St. Vincent. Uh, so I'm planning on uh, taking my comp exam and being a comp, and then taking my step one, and then hopefully starting rotations. Okay, so she has a lot in front of her. <laughs> hopefully, we're wishing her the best. Please. Right. <laughs> She's been here for so that's a year and a no, it's almost two years. Uh, year and a half. So it's been a year and a half, which that's how long basic sciences yeah. is. Um, so let's talk about how it is here. So I'm an MD3 for those who don't know. So I've only been here for this is my. It'll almost be a year for you. Almost a year. Yeah. So I'm like on my let's say ninth month, month? right? Yeah. Ninth or tenth month. Let's talk about how it was when we first came to the island. Okay. So. I first came here in August of 2018, which sounds like a long time ago. It sounds because ancient. 2019 <laughs> just happened. 2019. But I'll say 2018. Right. 2020. <laughs> so it feels like I've been here forever, which it feels like it has been. But so um, I was a part of the fall class of 2018. I had no idea what to expect coming to this island. I've never heard of this island before. I didn't know anything about this island. I never met the people who were from this island before. So I came down here with my mom. We arrived at night. Couldn't see anything. Oh my goodness, <laughs> and then how late? So we didn't officially land here until 8 o'clock at night. So it was pitch black. Yo, the sun sets at like 5.30. Yeah, which I didn't even know about. Because like back at home in the summertime, it's still light out at 8 and it won't get dark till 9. So when we landed, um, the landlord picked us up of the place that I knew I was going to stay at. And I was like, does it always get dark this early? And he's like, it gets dark at like 5, 5.30. And I'm like, okay, that's good to know. At least you came with somebody. Yeah. Right? Some people come alone. Yeah, some people show up alone. I don't know how they do that. I can't do that. Especially in a place I've never heard of, never seen. Before. Right. I don't know what to expect. So you didn't know anybody from St. Vincent? No. You've never heard of a St. Vincentian, mm -hmm. right? Because <laughs> that's what I they're never called. heard nothing. I, knew, I didn't know anything about this place. They asked me, do you want Anguilla or St. Vincent? St. Vincent, honestly, was cheaper. And I heard it was a little bit bigger. And they told me it was a renovated campus. So I was like, yeah, sure. I didn't know anything about the island, though. But I was like, OK, fine came here not knowing what I was going to see, but luckily I came with my mom, so I wasn't alone. Okay. Yeah. I, on the other hand, yeah. I knew a whole you bunch of, I knew a whole I bunch do. of extensions. I knew people who lived here, came from here to Montreal. Um, I'm like surrounded by them in Montreal. So I knew what this, I knew what the country was, who the people were. I just didn't really understand fully what the Caribbean <laughs> <laughs> and even, even for me, so I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So in the States, I don't really, like, at least in Pittsburgh, I never met a Vincentian, never heard, seen. So I didn't I didn't know anything about the island, but at least for you, in Montreal, they're there, and you even have a friend who's from... I have several, have friends, several yeah, friends, yeah. I have several friends. But for you, though, you came with your, your mom and brother, right? I came with my mom and my brother, yes. Yeah. Yes, and we arrived around, like... I think we got out of the airport and into around like 4 o'clock uh -huh. or 4.30 or something like that. So we went to uh, the hotel, then came to the school, uh -huh. and when we got here, it was like a Friday around 5 o'clock p.m. Oh, okay. Which, or 6 maybe because, I don't remember it being dark. Yeah. Sorry guys, we have somebody staring at us. <laughs> He's okay. He's <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're at school actually. In a study room, so if you hear the noise, uh, if you hear the cars, if you hear we people talking, open when air. they're open, like it's hot in here. So if you hear noise, we're sorry, but we really just wanted to do this and let you guys know yeah. the real deal, the real, okay? what, it, what it's actually like being here. Right, what it really is, yeah, exactly. Yes. 
So yeah, I came like Friday at six. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be a bigger school. Okay, mm -hmm. um, I thought the school would still be open. Mm -hmm. And one thing that um, we're being real, right? Yeah, we're being real. We're being real for you guys. <laughs> I got here and I was disappointed, guys. I was too. I wanted to go back home. <laughs> I wanted when did to. you officially see the campus, the, the building? When I came here. So the same night? The same night. You see with me too. Right. They brought, it was nighttime so I couldn't see, but he, the landlord brought me to the, the show me, and I was like, this is it? And for some reason I was expecting like a welcome team, like somebody who, like a team that welcomed us, yeah, right? Yeah, there's like another school here that actually like, they come and meet you at the airport and pick you up and stuff, but All right. we didn't get that. But like, I sucked it up. I'm like, I've been to private schools. I understand how private schools look like and are. Yeah. So I can deal with just another one, right? Right? Yeah. So, but, um, and then, so basically, how long did it take you to get the hang of things? Okay. So, I think I had it easier than other people because other people, for one thing, have never traveled outside of okay. where they live. That is before. that is a fair point, yes. At least I've traveled to Nigeria, Ghana multiple times, so I'm used to like a different environment. Right. And I guess we were, we're both like, we've both been to Ghana before. She's been to Nigeria before. So we have a bit of traveling experience, unlike some people, like you yeah, were saying, never who's left never left country, their, country. Their, their state. Yeah. <laughs> There's even, yeah, either their state or just their country. Their country, but, yeah. right? Um, so if you have, if you have traveled, um, some stuff you recognize, especially to like a developing country. There's some stuff that you notice. Sydney, yeah, I know there's something yeah. in here. It's because the window's open. Okay. It's a fruit fly. I don't like it. Okay, like it's because you're fruity. <laughs> when I came, so when I came here the first night, or I think the next day, like the first twenty four hours, essentially, I was shocked by how quiet the country was, because I was expecting it to be like Ghana, like like loud, like Mexico, like how I imagine Mexico, you know, yeah. loud music, like alive. Yeah. And bruh, it was dark and mad it quiet. It was dark and quiet. It was actually kind of scary looking. Scary, yeah. And they don't really have street lights either. Like not like to light up everywhere. So it's dark. They right. have like one here and there. It was quiet and dark, so that made me also a little bit skeptical about the island. The island, yeah. yeah. And then so remember I said I came here around the school yeah. like the first night? There were a bunch of people standing there and my mom was like, why does it have a ghetto vibe? Yes, exactly. So even when I saw the building too, one thing, me and my mom did not like how it was right on the main road. I expected it to be its own campus, maybe have a gate because other schools here are like, they're off on their own or have a gate, like walking like, you know, the school. So I noticed it's on the side of the main road, across the street. Across the street from like um, a grocery store, there's also a KFC, so there's more people. But I just didn't expect it to be like right. And there's like no crosswalk either, stuff like that. Right. It was different. It was different. It still is different. It still is different. Um, I don't want us to come off negative though, because let's say like the school no, is giving us the just, country's giving us an opportunity, right? Yeah, it's just like we're not we weren't used to we're it. Now we're used to it. Right. But coming here like this is completely different from what right. we know. So when I got here speaking about this, yeah. um so when I got here, like the first my first semester, the first four months, I did go into town. I ended up in one of those um you know when you travel those gift stores? Um like a souvenir, a shop. souvenir shop, right? And that, at that point, this is how, how upset I was with the country and everything, that I did not appreciate anything in the store. Like, I was like, nope, this is clear. I'm, not, I'm clearly not coming to get this. I don't get anything here. No t-shirt, no hat, no gold, no frame, no bag, nothing, no keychain. I don't need any souvenirs. But now that it's been like nine, ten months, I went there today, and I was looking at stuff, and the fact that We've traveled and we've done a little stuff like we've been to Beckway, yeah. we've been to Mystique, we've been to like the waters. Mm -hmm. So when I was looking at your art mm -hmm. and I was seeing exactly what we saw in the art, I was like, mm -hmm. oh, it's so nice. I appreciate okay. appreciating the, the yeah. beauty of it more. I'm learning to 
how to comport myself, how to hold myself, how to protect myself, yeah. how to deal with the people that are standing there. Right? Okay, yeah. Even I'm the same way, like I bought like a bandana with their with the thing. Right. I even have an inklet in the colors of their flag. Right. Like I never thought I would get stuff in their colors, you know? But also another thing too is that I've never been to the Caribbean before. I mean, I've never been to any of the islands here before. So I've never and my family doesn't really do the beach. So, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Like, don't go by the water. Don't go to the <laughs> beach. Like, stay inside. Stay inside. Mami, Mami Wata is going to get you. <laughs> First thing my mom said was, do not go in the water because of that. First thing. Even to this day, my dad calls me, like, did you go to the water? I'm like, no, no, dad. No. I told you that day. <laughs> that day I was going to the beach where I, was, I had a dream about you. Don't go in the water. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So this is our African spin on yeah. like basically going to school in the Caribbean. Um, what else? What else did like so first week here, first day of school, how was first day of school for you? So orientation or like the real first the real day? first day of school. So real first day of school took the school bus. But I remember, like, my bus would pick me up at 6.45 in the morning because I was the first stop. Mm -hmm. So, like, I was in the first round, and then you'd go pick up everybody else. I didn't know anybody in my class. I mean, that's expected. Right. We're all coming We're from all different new. places exactly. in the world, you know. So, I came in and picked my seat in the front because I'm like, you know what? I'm just, I need to be focused, prepared. I don't know what's going to hit me, so I'm just going to sit in my own spot, you know. First day, it was... It was from what I can try to remember, because it was such a long time ago now, it was good. Um, I did, like, mingle, like, you know, talk to my classmate. Oh, there's a fly right now. Um, <laughs> uh, I met a couple of people that we ended up being friends throughout the semester. The classes, I didn't know how the class setup was going to be. Yeah, okay. I didn't know, like, classes were two hours long. Um, I didn't really know what classes I was taking, because even I feel like right. oh beforehand they didn't really tell head. me. Cause I'm, like, sitting here thinking, I'm like, how was my like, first day? I forgot. Yeah. So we but, went through the motions of it. Like, right. we had, like, for me, we had anatomy first, and we had, like, histo, then it was a lunch break, then I think it was, like, embryo, and then, like, something else again, because the afternoon classes are always different. But um, also, too, my class was a big class. There was, like, 55 of us. So we were, like, the biggest class in the school. And even when I came, like, two semesters yeah. later, they were still a there huge was still class. still another huge class. The fall semester is usually the biggest class, which makes sense. People want to start when they're right. fall time. I mean, that's when everybody started so in school, school, right? Yeah. Um, but my first day was pretty chill. I mean, it wasn't bad. I, it was mostly me get in a hang of what How, every day is going yeah. to be. I also wasn't used to staying in school 8 to 5. I didn't like that. <laughs> it was too much. It was right. too draining. Right. Two hours each class. We actually had like anatomy lab that was also two hours of cadavers. Right. So, and that was also an, another thing for that, people. That threw me off because yeah. the first, was the first, I didn't end up in the first group, so the first day I wasn't part of them. But there were people that were in the other group mm -hmm. that had to do like see cadavers so they actually on the day. Started it. They started it on the day of. So that was like, whoa. Yeah, that one was just like a, a shock because these are real people. So you're just like, wow, I mean, like, this is a real right, thing. You're doing right. a real thing here. Like, I've seen people, so I've been to funerals and I've seen people laying there. But, but like, not. when it comes to like a cadaver you have to work on. Like, they were donated for us to learn. Right. Like, new knowledge. Right. So, but, right. But, it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, so I'm an MD3 now, right? And and like I'm only starting to like it now. Med school. Like me med school, overall, like med the school Caribbean, school. my whole experience here. I'm okay. I'm just now like enjoying it. Same thing for you, like how long did it take you to be like, okay, we're doing this, like I'm feeling it now, you know? I think it took me to MD4. Whoa, that's just last semester. Yeah. And it's not because of, I was still getting used to how the island looks and stuff. It was more of how the island works and the people, mm -hmm. especially the people. So like for me, I had to change my whole, like how I am at home, especially with like eating. 
Like even, oh my god. Even like I wasn't so this island is small, which means you can't get everything here. Right. So the grocery store only has like restock days like once a week. Right. So once they restock, that's your time to go and get what you need. After that, everything is gone. And it's like literally half the country shopping here. Yeah. <laughs> because there's only one grocery store in the area we're at. And the next grocery store is in Kingstown. Right. It's all the way in there downtown. And we're not there. So I had to get used to that. Also too, like at home I would eat healthy. Here I can't. It's so much I harder. I can't do that here. Like before coming here, I worked out four days a week and I ate healthy. Okay, hold and on. That's not because they hear you're not doing it. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying I'm trying to get into like the like the healthy foods that they don't got that here. Okay, okay. So I had to change my diet. Basically, I had to change my diet because I couldn't get everything that I would eat at home here. You want to squish it? Squish it too. It was like all over me. Right. Okay. Um, so that's just like an example how like you gotta change you gotta change things in order to, to survive mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. live here. So what are you surviving on? Like what are your three main dishes you're making here? <laughs> it's like I get like the frozen bag of vegetables because at least trying to get like veggies okay. in me. I try to get protein, so I mean if you want chicken you can find it anywhere here. Plenty. All you is chicken. Plenty, yeah. Especially chicken wings, but that's not the healthiest. So I try to get chicken breasts. But the grocery store here doesn't always have it. Okay. So there's another true. grocery store called Sunrise down the road that has it. But it's like something you just don't feel like going down true. there. So yeah. I can get it. And then, oh, I make a lot of pasta, though. Because that's the that's easiest, the easiest thing, to thing to do. Or like, rice. 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 Jollof. Jollof, rice. Jollof, right. Because you can make a lot of it, and then it can throughout the week or right. more. So, so like with our study schedule, right? You, just need, you need something you can just grab and go, scoop and go, or you may. Um, so, yeah, me too. I'm on the same type of diet. Basically, well, not the vegetables. We gotta get into that. I'm not on the <laughs> vegetables yet. Um, rice, mm -hmm. pasta, a lot of bread. Oh, All right, a lot of bread. A lot of bread. I'm trying um, to cut that out right now. Like, I mean, I drink, I'm drinking a lot of water. I'm trying to drink a lot of water. I have juice at home, but. Just because my mom shipped them here, so I got back, I got a barrel sh or two barrels shipped. Mm -hmm. So I have some stuff that you know, but I stick to water. I stick to water or the same type of drinks. It's either like guava juice or bitter lemon. Right. But mostly water now. Oh, question. Answer. Okay. <laughs> I hope I have the answer. What same what Vincentian dish have you tried? I've had a lot of Kalaloo soup. Oh, you've tried something? Yeah. Oh, okay. You haven't tried anything? No. <laughs> so far, I only like the Kalaloo soup. Or like Kalaloo, it's like a green plant. It's kind of like spinach, but it's not spinach. It's Kalaloo. So they'll make it into soup with like uh, the broth and chicken, or you can do it with beef. It's really good. Or you could just have it by itself and you can like have it with like rice or an, or like your meal, like a side, a side dish. I would have to be blindfolded. Why? Oh, because it's green. Oh, veggies, remember. No, no, <laughs> color is not appealing to me. You don't like spinach? Yeah, but not a spinach soup. It's not like I know, but like it looks too green for my liking. Well, that's the only one I like. Cause I'm trying to think. Cause they eat other things here. Like they eat iguana and that, but I don't do that. We're not there yet. We're not, Hopefully, we don't we're get there. We're not gonna be there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's the only dish I like. But to add to, we're talking about vegetables and stuff. When I got here, I expected to be finding like produce everywhere alongside oh, yeah, the road. Yeah. Seafood was everywhere. Shrimp, fish, anything I could find. Cause you know we're in the Caribbean. The ocean is literally right here. Right, right, right. And I got here and frozen seafood in Massey is expensive. Like a little bag of shrimp is like 50 EC. Okay. Which is expensive. I haven't even looked at it because I'm not even thinking about it. <laughs> and then produce, or at least uh, fruits, is not nothing. that many. Yeah. They have pineapples. They have pineapples. They have apples. Um... Mango. Mangoes. Mangoes is their number one fruit, I will say, because yeah. they have, they grow it and everywhere. They're, they're star fruit. Star fruit, too. Star fruit. I haven't tried it personally. I want to. 
I was wondering, can you use that in a smoothie? Yeah. Have you smoothie. tried it? I haven't put it in a smoothie, but I've had it before. In a smoothie. Not oh, a smoothie. Oh, just like oh. cut it and eat so it. So is it like, what is it like? It's, it's sweet and sour, but not too sour. Okay. As long as it's like ripe. Okay. Yeah. So sweet, it's not sweet a and sour. Yeah. Okay. I mean, what I can remember and think of it as. Okay. Okay, so just to give you guys some more like in-depth information about like curriculum and um, like our studies and uh, just the real med school stuff. <laughs> um, yeah. So in ND one, you do what do you do? You do anatomy. You take anatomy, histo, embryology. You have an anatomy cadaver lab, and then you also have anatomy imaging. An yeah, imaging so it's like classroom. wet lab and dry lab. So x-rays. All right, and what's cool is they have that um, imaging table. It's like the anamatage. Yeah. Anam anamatage, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think. I, I found that pretty cool. I didn't get to use it. They didn't have it when I was in MD1. They got it, like, I think your semester was the yeah, first semester yeah. to use it. Before coming to the islands, so that's what they were selling on your like on their site. Like they, really they have this that. type, this table. So I'm like, oh my god, that's pretty cool. I would pick this over a cadaver, mm -hmm. right? But it's not the it's same. It's not the same. It's you not the same. The yeah. Um, and then so that's MD one. Yeah, MD two. Oh, you also take ethics, which is very oh. important. Okay. Yeah. So you take ethics and MD one. I think that's everything. Mm, sounds like it. that's the main courses. MD2 is like neuro, physio, physio biochem. Biochem was the main course. It's the heavy load. Yeah. Um, with like research. TCBS. TCBS. Oh, TCBS you'll take from MD1 to MD4. Actually, they're changing it up, so I don't. Is it still? I don't know. I remember them changing things around. But um, yeah, and now MD3 is. Uh, what am I doing? I'm doing <laughs> pathology. I'm doing microbiology. I'm doing ep epidemiology, psych, uh, CCBS, research. That's about it. He has like six classes. Right. Yeah. And then MD4. MD4, you take pathology two. Then you have uh, PDI, which is physical diagnosis. I'm really excited for PDI for some reason. I, I really want to do PDI. I like PDI because you actually feel like, like you're a doctor or you're doing something, you know? Yeah. Um, so that's physical diagnosis. And then you also have CCBS. And then you have, you're in the last research class course. So that's when you actually present your research mm -hmm, to the mm -hmm, whole school. Mm -hmm. Oh, and guys, a little secret here. So she got first place. <laughs> All right, here. first place. Okay, Missy here. We're not okay. We're not doing Let's give her a little congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I was not expected at all, but we tried. We tried. No, you did well. You did well. I remember, like. Thank you. That's what I was done. I was like, I need to learn. I took all my phone. So I sat down. I got all these texts from everybody and saying how good I was. Yeah. And we won. I was like, I mean, I tried my best. Yeah. So. So, PDI, PATH2, CCBS, research. I feel like I'm missing one more thing. There's five classes. Oh, pharmacology. Oh. Important. Okay. So, the three P's are physio, pharm, and pathology. That doesn't even sound good to me, pharmacology. Yeah. I'm not interested. Yeah, you gotta be interested. <laughs> At all. You gotta be interested. Okay. And then, MD5. It's just a review of all those classes we just said. Oof. So, um, like you'll take a, di a diagnostic exam in the beginning to see where you're at and what you need to work on. There's bi-weekly quizzes every two weeks on each subject. And then we take a Kaplan exam, which is eight hours. And then we take the NBV comprehensive exam. That exam is your key into taking step one. So once you pass that exam, then you can schedule to take step one. If you don't pass that exam, then you have to retake the exam again. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So how are you preparing for step 
or first of all, comp. Comp is my. How did it take in past comp in order to take step one? But see, I was like, there's a girl that came in and spoke to us that's already been through this whole process and is an internal medicine. I reported her for one to listen. She was saying, don't study for comp, but study for step. So if you can do step, you'll be able to do comp. Which makes sense. Yeah. But it's two different styles, supposedly, right? It's two different styles, and I feel like there's not enough time to study as efficient as mm-hmm. it would for step. Okay. That's the thing. Because you only have four months to study for the comp, and even that seems like it's not even enough time to review everything. You know, time goes by like this. Like, we're like, already I've in been the middle of a year. We're already in the middle of February. Like, how? This is a short too. Like how? Yeah. Right. So it's like you need also to you need to know how to you need to know how to do time management here because it's an accelerated program. Right. And it's four months per semester, and you're learning things that people usually learn in like a year. In a, in four months. Yeah. Yeah. So you literally go to class either to three or five, and then you have to study right after. So how many hours do you study? A day. Right. What's your study habit? Like, what is it like? Your study routine? So, weekends, I try to do eight hours because I'm at home. Okay. Yeah. I try. That's the goal. That's know? the goal. Week, week, <laughs> days. <laughs> the goal. That's the goal. If it happens, that's a whole different other story. Yeah. <laughs> week, days. Well, we come in, from D5, we come in at 8 a.m. and we do practice questions with our professor for an hour till 9. And then from 9 to 3, or to how long you want, to study. So I'm here five days a week studying from 9 to 3, or even sometimes 9 to 5. So it sounds like a job, but I'm studying here. Right. Yeah. Right. So after I do that, that so true. yeah, so I'm really just studying. So after I do that, I would sometimes just go home and relax or go home relax and pick up like another two hours before bed like maybe review what i did today that makes sense yeah but it's really like a job like i don't have classes no more so i'm just studying reviewing everything for two exams i'm gonna take and then later on it's step right we unfortunately have to end the video here we've taken up like i don't know how long this video is gonna be you know, if you have questions, do put it in the comment section below. If you want to holler at your girl, mm-hmm. <laughs> her. Oh, sorry. <laughs> holler at me too then. Okay. Make sure. I'll put her social media at the bottom. I'll put Subscribe it somewhere. Subscribe to Edith. You know. You she know. can make a part two of this video if you have any more questions. Right. Something we didn't cover. Right. You know, it's something you want to know about the school specifically, mm-hmm. about the Caribbean, the you know, in general. If you're interested in this school as well, right. or if you're a prospective student, you prospective just got student. accepted. Mm-hmm. You know. Listen, we're here for you. We want to help. We want to show you the real deal. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, just share information. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.